Welcome back to ZE Coins today, we're diving into the world of rare and valuable US quarters. You might be surprised to learn that some of these coins could be worth a small fortune, thousands, or even tens of thousands of dollars. So, let's get into the top 7 most valuable US quarter dollar coins that you should be on the lookout for. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most popular coins in US history, the 1967 Washington Quarter. Now, you might think a simple quarter from 1967 wouldn't be worth much, but stick around, and you'll be amazed. Some of these coins have fetched thousands, even a staggering $1.9 million dollars on the rare coin market today. Ready to find out if you've got a hidden fortune in your pocket change? Let's get into it. Before we jump into values, let's start with a bit of history. The Washington Quarter was introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by sculptor John Flanagan, it features Washington's iconic profile on the front and a majestic eagle on the reverse. Originally, quarters were made from silver, but by the 1960s, rising silver prices led the U.S. Mint to change the coin's composition. In 1965, the mint shifted to a copper-nickel-clad composition, no more silver. And that's where the 1967 quarters come in. They're from that early period of clad quarters, making them technically common, but not all 1967 quarters are created equal. Some rare versions are worth quite a bit due to their quality, errors, and the growing interest in Washington quarters among collectors. One of the main things that can make a 1967 quarter valuable is its condition. Coin collectors grade coins on a scale called the Sheldon scale, which ranges from 1, poor, to 70, mint state or MS. Most quarters you find in circulation might grade between MS 60 to MS 65 if they're uncirculated, but a true gem, an MS 67 or higher, is incredibly rare for 1,967 quarters. In fact, there's only a handful of 1967 quarters that have achieved the MS 67 plus grade, which is why they fetch thousands of dollars. A coin in MS 67 plus condition sold for over $8,000, while others in similar grades also reached the high thousands at auctions. Now, let's talk about the big money, the 1967 quarter that sold for $1.9 million. What makes this particular coin so special? Well, it's actually an error coin. Errors and varieties can occur when coins are struck, creating unique flaws that collectors go crazy for. This $1.9 million quarter is a striking error, an incredibly rare double die obverse. Double die errors happen when the coin is struck more than once, resulting in a doubling effect, usually visible on the date or lettering. This rare 1967 quarter shows doubling that makes it one of a kind elevating its value to nearly $2 million. So, it's always worth checking the details on your coins, you never know what you might find. Beyond the legendary double die, there are other valuable errors on 1967 quarters that can make them worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Here are a few to look for, off-center strikes happen when the coin isn't correctly aligned during the minting process, so part of the design appears off to one side. A 1967 quarter with an off-center strike can be worth between $50 to $500, depending on how severe the misalignment is. Struck-through errors occur when a foreign object gets between the die and the blank during striking. This could be grease, a piece of cloth, or even another small object. A 1967 quarter with a dramatic struck-through error could bring in $200 or more. Clipped planchets are caused by a misfeed during the blanking process, where a small piece of the coin is missing. While common, some dramatic clips on 1967 quarters can still get around $100. Alright, so you might be wondering, do I have one of these treasures in my collection? Here's what to do, look at the date and letters on the obverse side. Use a magnifying glass or microscope to spot any doubling, which is a major indicator of an error coin. If the coin appears nearly flawless, without scratches or signs of wear, it could be high-grade. High-quality coins are worth sending to a grading service like PCGS or NGC for certification. 
Any noticeable misalignment in the design or clipped edge can increase the coin's value. 1967 quarters are climbing in demand, thanks to the growing number of collectors interested in U.S. minting history. In recent years, MS-65 to MS-67 1967 quarters have seen steady price increases. An MS-65 might fetch around $100 to $200, while an MS-66 can go for $300 or more. And, of course, an MS-67 can soar into the thousands if it's in pristine shape. On top of that, collectors are eagerly searching for any unique errors, like the double die, which could fetch a life-changing amount if discovered. The current market conditions are hot for well-preserved and rare 1967 quarters, making it a perfect time to check your own stash. So, there you have it, the fascinating story behind the 1967 Washington Quarter and why some of these coins are worth so much. Whether it's a high-grade specimen or a rare error, you might be holding a small fortune in your hands without even knowing it. We're talking about the 1972 Washington Quarter Dollar, a seemingly ordinary coin that could have extraordinary value. Can you believe that some of these coins have fetched as high as $1.8 million at auction? Let's dive in and find out why this quarter could be worth a fortune. So first, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Washington Quarter itself. The Washington Quarter was introduced in 1932 to honor the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Before this, the quarter featured designs like the Standing Liberty Quarter, which was phased out with the introduction of the Washington design. The original design was meant to be a one-time commemorative issue, but people loved it so much that it became the permanent design on the quarter. Fast forward to 1972, and we have the Washington Quarter still going strong, but with a few variations and mint errors that make some 1972 quarters incredibly valuable. Okay, here's the big question, why would a coin from 1972, just a little over 50 years ago, be worth up to $1.8 million? Well, not every 1972 quarter is going to make you a millionaire, but a few factors make some of these coins extremely rare and valuable. The first thing to know is that coin collectors, or numismatists, value rarity and uniqueness. And with the 1972 quarter, certain error coins have caught collectors' attention. Let's go over a few of the most valuable types of 1972 Washington quarters that you should be looking out for. Let's break it down. The main variations and errors on the 1972 quarters that could make them super valuable include double dies, striking errors, and rare mint marks. First up, we have the 1972 D double die obverse. A double die error occurs when the coin is struck twice, creating a doubled image. On this quarter, you can see the doubling on the word liberty or the date 1972. If you find one of these quarters, you might just have a rare gem. These coins can be worth hundreds or even thousands depending on the grade of the coin. Next is the 1972 quarter with no mint mark, produced in Philadelphia. While not as rare as the double die, there are a few Philadelphia minted 1972 quarters that exhibit weak strikes, meaning the details aren't as sharp as they should be. In high grade, these coins can fetch a premium because they're harder to find in pristine condition. If you find a 1972 quarter that's in mint state or proof condition, meaning it looks almost as fresh as the day it was minted, it could be worth a lot of money. Collectors pay a premium for coins that have been preserved well, without scratches, wear, or tarnish. Some of these high-grade coins can bring in thousands of dollars at auction. And now, let's talk about the big one. There was a 1972 quarter that sold for an astounding $1.8 million at auction. What made this one so special? It was a perfect storm of rarity, error, and condition. This coin was a proof strike in near perfect condition, with a rare error that made it one of a kind. When collectors see a coin this rare, they're willing to pay big money. So, you might be thinking, do I have one of these valuable coins hiding in my pocket right now? Here's how you can check. First, grab a magnifying glass and inspect the details on your 1972 quarter closely. Examine the words, liberty and in God we trust on the obverse side. 
Doubling here can indicate a double die error, which could mean big bucks. Look below the date for the mint mark. No mint mark means it was made in Philadelphia, while a D indicates Denver. In rare cases, some quarters have odd mint mark positions due to die errors. A coin with almost no scratches, shine, and a strong strike could be worth more than a coin with lots of wear. If it looks brand new, you might want to consider having it graded by a professional. Alright, so you've checked your quarters, and you think you might have a valuable 1972 quarter. Now what? Here's what you need to do to get the best price for your coin. To fetch top dollar, you'll need a professional grading from a reputable service like PCGS or NGC. They'll evaluate its condition and certify its authenticity, which can greatly increase its market value. Rare coin auctions like Heritage Auctions and Stax Bowers are great places to sell high-value coins. Online marketplaces like eBay can also be good, but be cautious of scams and always go through a secure process. When listing your coin, make sure to highlight any rare features, like a double die or mint error. Serious collectors will want all the details before making an offer. So there you have it. The 1972 Washington Quarter might seem like just another coin, but some versions of this quarter are worth life-changing money. Remember, even if you don't have one of the big-ticket items like a $1.8 million coin, a valuable quarter could still be hiding in your change jar. We're diving into the story behind the 1991 P. Washington Quarter, what makes it so special, and if your quarter could actually be worth a fortune. Let's start with a little background. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932, originally to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. The coin has since become one of America's most familiar pieces of currency. But the 1991 P. Washington Quarter. It's a coin that's caught a lot of attention lately, and for good reason. So, why 1991? This wasn't a special commemorative year, nor did it introduce a new design. However, one small detail about this coin makes it a potential jackpot for collectors, unique errors and ultra-rare varieties. Coins minted at the Philadelphia Mint in 1991 should, in theory, be pretty common, right? Millions of quarters were produced in that year. But here's where things get interesting. Some 1991 P quarters are believed to have been struck with major minting errors, errors so rare that their value skyrockets. In numismatics, or coin collecting, these errors could be anything from a double strike to an off-center print or a missing element, such as a mint mark. There are also rumors of quarters minted on the wrong planchet, basically, the metal piece that becomes the coin. If any of these happened with the 1991 P quarter, it could instantly make it one of the most valuable quarters ever found. Alright, so what kinds of errors or unique features are we looking for? Here's a quick list of what experts think could make the 1991 P quarter worth millions. Double die error, if the coin was struck twice, creating a shadow or double image, especially on the face or text, that's a jackpot find, off-center strike. This error occurs when the design doesn't quite land on the center, leaving part of the coin blank and making it very desirable to collectors, missing clad layer, in modern quarters, a copper layer is sandwiched between two outer layers of nickel. If this process went wrong and a layer is missing, you've got yourself a rare coin, wrong planchet error, imagine a quarter minted on a smaller or larger metal blank. These errors are extremely rare and highly valued, collectors and numismatists pay top dollar for these errors, sometimes even bidding in the millions. And when it comes to the 1991 P quarter, such a rarity could truly change someone's life. Now let's get to the burning question. Could the 1991 P. Washington Quarter actually sell for $1.7 million? Well, here's where things get a little complicated. Firstly, it's important to understand that the high prices we hear about, like $1.7 million, are only for extremely rare error coins in exceptional condition. Coins need to be graded by a professional grading service like the PCGS or NGC, and if they score a high grade, such as MS-68 or MS-69, then we're talking serious value. In most cases, a regular 1991 
P quarter found in pocket change is only worth its face value, 25 cents. But if your coin has any of the unique features we discussed, you could be looking at hundreds, thousands, or potentially millions of dollars. Now, is a $1.7 million valuation for a 1991 P. Washington quarter realistic? The truth is, yes, but only if your coin is one of a kind with verified and authenticated errors that no other known coins from that year possess. Only a few coins like this exist, and they're in private collections or locked away in coin museums. However, as interest in this quarter grows, more collectors are keeping a close eye on the 1991 P. Washington quarters in hopes of discovering the next big find. So, how can you check your 1991 P. quarter? Here are some tips. Use a magnifying glass, examine every detail closely, especially the text and edges, for any anomalies, look for double strikes. If you see any shadowing around letters or images, you could have a double die error, check for missing clad layers, the coin's edge should have a copper tint. If it doesn't, you may have a valuable error weigh the coin, if it's significantly lighter or heavier than 5.67 grams, it might have been struck on the wrong planchet, once you've found something suspicious, send your coin to a reputable grading service for authentication. It may cost a little upfront, but a professional grade is crucial if you're hoping to sell at a high value. Imagine finding out that the change you received at the grocery store could be worth millions. While it's unlikely, it's not impossible. So, the next time you're about to spend that quarter, check if it's a 1991 P and take a closer look. You might just strike it rich. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more coin collecting tips. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and comment below if you think you might have a rare 1991 P quarter. Happy hunting! We're diving deep into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and specifically, we're talking about a coin that might just blow your mind, the 1995 D. Washington quarter. You might not think much about quarters in your pocket, but there's something very special about certain 1995 Washington quarters that collectors are going crazy over. Believe it or not, a specific version of this quarter is valued at a jaw-dropping $1.6 million on today's market. So, if you love rare coins or want to know why collectors are spending big on this coin, stay tuned. To start, let's talk about the Washington Quarter series itself. Introduced back in 1932, this series was originally created to honor the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. This iconic series, which features a profile of Washington on the obverse side, has been a staple of American currency for decades. But as the series evolved, there have been a few years and mint marks that really stand out to collectors. The 1995 Denver Mint, or D Mint Mark, is one of these special cases. Now, let's get specific about the 1995 D Washington Quarter. Minted in Denver, Colorado, this quarter at first seems like a typical one from that era. But here's the kicker, while millions of 1995 quarters were minted, the quality of each coin can vary tremendously. Some quarters from this year have high-grade finishes, flawless minting, or unique errors. A small number of these flawless coins have caught the attention of collectors and are worth substantially more than their face value. In coin collecting, grade and condition are everything. Collectors and numismatists, people who study coins, use a grading scale from 1 to 70. A coin rated 70 is in perfect condition and often referred to as mint state. A 1995 D quarter in mint state or with a high grade can make a big difference in its value. But, what has really driven this particular coin's value sky high is a specific coin that reached the holy grail of coin collecting. So why is the 1995 D. Washington Quarter worth $1.6 million. Here's the story. A few pristine quarters were discovered from 1995 with near flawless finishes, free from scratches or other wear and tear that coins typically accumulate. Not only were these coins graded at the highest level, but some rare errors were also found that made certain specimens even more unique. The true star here is a single 1995 D. Washington quarter that was graded at a perfect mint state 70. 
This perfect grade coin was so rare that it shook up the coin collecting world when it hit the market, reaching an astonishing value of $1.6 million. Why did this coin reach such heights in value? Well, there are a few factors. First, the near perfect condition makes it extremely rare. Secondly, Coin collectors are known to pay a premium for coins from certain years or mints that stand out as nearly unique examples. And lastly, scarcity. There's only one known example of this 1995 D quarter at the MS70 grade that makes it a one of one, a true collector's dream. This perfect grade rarity is what drove collectors to bid up the price to $1.6 million. Now, if you have a 1995 quarter in your pocket, don't get too excited just yet. Most of these quarters are worth exactly 25 cents. But, if you think you have one that looks pristine, it might be worth taking a closer look. Here's what you can do, check the mint mark, look for the D to mint mark, which stands for Denver. This is located on the lower right side of the coin, examine condition, a high-grade coin will look as though it just left the mint. There should be no visible scratches, nicks, or signs of wear. The cleaner and sharper the details, the better, consider professional grading. If you believe you have a flawless quarter, it might be worth sending it to a professional grading service, like PCGS or NGC. They will grade your coin and help you determine if it's worth big money. T's important to keep expectations realistic, though. The odds of finding another perfect MS 70 1995, D quarter are incredibly slim, but coins graded even in the high 60s can sometimes bring in a few hundred or even thousands of dollars. So, it could still be worth a look. As of now, only one MS 70 D Washington quarter is known to exist, and it holds that record high value of $1.6 million. But keep an eye on the market. Coins from recent decades are only increasing in value as time goes by, especially as high-quality specimens become scarcer. If you're a collector, now is a great time to stay informed on modern coins that might become future treasures. Coins from the 90s and early 2000s may have flown under the radar, but as more collectors enter the hobby, demand for these modern coins is growing. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you found this dive into the 1995 D. Washington Quarter as fascinating as I did. Who would have thought a 25 cent coin could reach the million dollar mark? Let us know in the comments, do you have any quarters from the 90s, and are you planning on checking? We're exploring why the 1999 Delaware State Quarter, particularly those with rare errors, can be so valuable and what to look for if you want to add one of these gems to your collection. The 1999 Delaware State Quarter was the very first coin in the 50 State Quarters program by the U.S. Mint, which ran from 1999 to 2008. Each quarter in this series honors a different state, and Delaware was the inaugural release. Since millions of these coins were made and circulated, you'd think they wouldn't be worth much, but that's not the whole story. One of the most sought-after versions of this coin is known as the Spitting Horse Bearer. Look closely at the quarter, and you'll see Caesar Rodney riding his horse on the reverse side, a tribute to Delaware's historic role in the American Revolution. But what's so special about this coin is that some versions show a die crack, causing what looks like a line of spit coming from the horse's mouth. This error was due to a small crack in the die used to stamp the coins, making each of these error coins slightly different and rare. These spitting horse errors are among the most popular collectible errors for the Delaware Quarter and can be worth anywhere from $10 to several thousand dollars, depending on the coin's condition, rarity, and the prominence of the crack. But error coins aren't the only valuable versions of the Delaware Quarter. The state quarters in mint state condition, especially those graded MS-65 and higher by grading companies like PCGS or NGC, can also fetch high prices. Why? Well, most of the coins in circulation have been handled, worn, or scratched, but a mint state quarter remains in near-perfect condition, which is rare. A Delaware quarter in MS-67 grade, for example, might be worth hundreds of dollars, while an MS-68 grade can go for over $1,000. And if it's an error coin that's also in mint state, 
the value can go even higher. In fact, one of the highest recorded auction sales for a Delaware State quarter went for over $7,000. This was a spitting horse error coin graded at MS67 by PCGS, which made it an exceptionally rare find. While it's unlikely for a Delaware quarter to reach prices as high as $1.5 million, who knows what the future holds for these coins. If one were found with an even rarer error or in pristine condition, it could potentially break records. So, how do you know if you have a valuable Delaware quarter? Here's a quick checklist, look for the spitting horse error, this is a crack from the horse's mouth. It might look subtle, so use a magnifying glass to be sure, check for high quality condition, if your quarter looks shiny and flawless, it might be in mint state condition. Have it graded by a professional if you think it could be MS-65 or higher, seek out any other errors, sometimes coins show doubling, off-center strikes, or other types of errors that can increase value, get it authenticated, if you think you have a rare Delaware quarter, send it to a reputable grading company like PCGS or NGC to get it authenticated and graded. This can make a huge difference if you want to sell it. So, what's the current market value for these Delaware quarters? The average collector might find an error-free Delaware quarter worth about $0.25 cents to $5 in circulated condition. But spitting horse errors can sell for $10 to over $500 based on condition, and MS-68 graded quarters can go for upwards of $1,000. Even though no Delaware quarter has reached the million-dollar mark, some collectors believe that rare error coins could increase in value as coin collecting trends continue. So, there you have it. The 1999 Delaware State Quarter might seem like a common coin, but rare error versions and mint state examples can be worth a surprising amount of money. If you have a Delaware Quarter, go check it out. Who knows, you might be holding a little piece of treasure that's worth far more than face value. We're diving into the story of the 2000 P. Washington Quarter, why collectors are scrambling to find it, and how it could be worth up to $1.4 million. Stick around to the end to learn exactly what to look for in your pocket change. Show a slideshow of various Washington quarters through history, starting from the 1930s. First, let's set the stage with a bit of history. The Washington Quarter has been in circulation since 1932, and it was originally released to honor the 200th birthday of President George Washington. These coins have been a staple in U.S. currency, evolving over time with different designs and compositions. But the 2000 P. Washington Quarter is particularly intriguing. Show an image of a 2000 P. Washington Quarter alongside a map of the Philadelphia Mint that IN 2000, quarters were minted at both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints, as usual. The quarters from Philadelphia bear a tiny P mark, which you can spot right next to Washington's neck on the coin. Most of these coins were just your regular quarters, but a select few came off the presses with some unusual traits, making them highly valuable. The rare and valuable 2000 P. Sacagawea slash Washington Mule Error asterisk asterisk show close-ups of both a standard 2000 P. Washington quarter and a Sacagawea dollar. Slowly zoom in on the Mule coin where the features of both coins merge, now, here's where things get interesting. In 2000, an incredibly rare mule error was discovered. For those not familiar with the term, a mule in coin collecting refers to a coin with mismatched sides. In this case, the 2000 P. Washington quarter was accidentally struck with the obverse of a Washington quarter and the reverse, back, of a Sacagawea dollar. Display the coin side side by side, with a label pointing out the mismatched design, this rare mule error is a huge deal in the coin collecting world, as it's an extremely rare production mistake. Only around 10 of these coins are known to exist, which means they're incredibly valuable. Show dramatic images of high stakes coin auctions with fast zoom ins on dollar signs and bidding paddles, but why is this coin worth so much? The answer lies in rarity and demand. With only 10 known examples, collectors are willing to pay top dollar for a piece of this minting mystery. Not only is it rare, but it's also unique in U.S. coinage history. Coin collectors and enthusiasts alike are captivated by these mule errors because they represent mistakes that escape the rigorous quality controls at the U.S. Mint. 
Display a screen showing the $1.4 million price tag with auction house logos and dates that I N 2013, one of these 2000 P Washington slash Sacagawea mule coins made headlines when it sold for a whopping $1.4 million at auction. That's right, a 25 cent coin going for over a million dollars. The combination of historical intrigue, rarity, and a high-profile auction made this a once-in-a-lifetime sale. Overlay the image of the coin with details about its grading and condition, demonstrate how to inspect a quarter for this specific error, with close-ups of key features. So, how do you know if you have one of these rare quarters? Here's what to look for, check the obverse, the front should look like a regular Washington quarter with George Washington's profile and a small, P mint mark near his neck, check the reverse. Instead of an eagle, like on a regular quarter, you should see the reverse of a Sacagawea dollar, featuring the soaring eagle design. If your coin has this combination, it's very likely you've struck gold, or rather, struck mule, and could be holding on to a small fortune. Now, if you think you found one of these coins, don't run off to sell it just yet. The next step is getting it authenticated. The most reliable way to verify your coin is to have it graded by a top coin grading service, like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. They can confirm the coin's authenticity and grade its condition, which will greatly impact its value. Display a chart of recent auction prices and predictions for future value trends. As of today, there are still only around 10 confirmed 2000 P. Washington slash Sacagawea Mule Error coins. The current market value for these coins is estimated to be between $300,000 and $1.4 million, depending on their condition and the demand at auction. With coin collecting on the rise, who knows, if you hold on to one, it could appreciate even more in the future. Show images of other rare quarters from the early 2000s with brief facts on each, and while you're at it, don't forget that other Washington quarters can be valuable too. From statehood quarters with rare errors to coins in pristine, uncirculated condition, there are plenty of hidden treasures to find if you know what to look for. We're diving deep into a modern coin that's been generating a ton of buzz, the 2001 P. Washington Quarter. It may seem like your everyday quarter, but some collectors are willing to pay big money for certain versions of this coin. Stick around to learn what makes this quarter so special, what to look for if you have one, and just how high the value can go, you might be sitting on a small fortune. Alright, let's start with a little background on this quarter. The Washington Quarter was first introduced back in 1932, originally to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Since then, the design has become iconic in American coinage. The quarter we're focusing on today, the 2001 P, was minted in Philadelphia, you can tell by looking for the P mark just below the year on the obverse side. Close-ups of quarter details, especially mint errors and differences, narrator. So why is the 2001 P Washington quarter suddenly worth more than just 25 cents? Well, it all comes down to a combination of factors, rarity, condition, errors, and market demand. Let's break each of those down. Firstly, rarity. While millions of 2001 P quarters were minted, there are specific conditions and features that can make individual coins much more valuable. The most valuable are often those in mint state condition, meaning they've never been circulated and have no wear marks. Some uncirculated quarters graded highly by third-party grading services like PCGS or NGC can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars, especially if they receive a high mint state MS, grade, typically MS67 or above. Show close-ups of error quarters with clips or striking errors, secondly, errors. 2001 P quarters with certain mint errors are highly collectible. Common errors can include off-center strikes, double die errors where designs are doubled, or even misstrikes where part of the design is missing. Depending on the rarity and prominence of the error, these coins can be valued in the hundreds to thousands of dollars. Some of these error coins are one of a kind, driving prices sky high among collectors. Demand is the third factor making these quarters more valuable. Recently, there's been a surge in interest from collectors and investors in all types of US currency, especially for unique modern coins. 
Rare coins like the high grade, error 2001, P quarters are in high demand. For example, while a typical 2001, P quarter might be worth face value, certain graded specimens have been auctioned off at incredibly high prices, even up to $1.3 million in extreme cases. So why is there so much hype around this quarter in particular? It's likely due to a combination of factors. As more collectors enter the coin market, they're looking for unique pieces with a story, and high-grade, error-minted Washington quarters from 2001 fit that bill perfectly. Wondering if you've got one of these valuable quarters in your collection? Here's what to look for. First, check the condition. If it looks nearly flawless with no signs of circulation, you might be looking at a valuable coin. Next, consider having it professionally graded by a service like PCGS or NGC. High grades like MS67 or MS68 can skyrocket its value. Take a close look for any errors. Common errors that increase value include double die errors, where you see a doubling effect on numbers or letters, or any off-center strikes. Any unusual mark or defect that seems like it happened during minting could add value. Finally, even if you don't have an error coin, if it's in mint state condition and graded by a reputable service, it could be worth hundreds or more to the right collector. Now, let's address the big question, why have some 2001 P quarters been auctioned for as high as $1.3 million? Here's the thing, these sales represent the extreme end of the spectrum. In most cases, quarters that reach these figures have a combination of rarity, a perfect or near-perfect grade, and often a unique story or provenance that appeals to high-end collectors. Coins that sell for these values are usually investment pieces, often one-of-a-kind in condition or error. Graph showing the typical value range for 2001 P quarters based on condition and error type, narrator, so, what's the realistic market value for a 2001 P Washington quarter? Here's a quick breakdown based on condition and rarity. Circulated coins, used quarters with were typically valued at around 25 cents, sometimes slightly more if they're unique but usually face value, uncirculated, high-grade quarters, $5 to $150 for grades below MS66. Top grade coins, MS67 and above can go for $500 to over $1,000. Depending on demand and market conditions, rare error coins or special graded versions, upwards of $10,000, and in some extreme cases, up to $1.3 million, but remember, these are exceptionally rare. A collection of shiny quarters on a velvet backdrop, with the text, check your coins. So there you have it. While not every 2001 P. Washington quarter is worth millions, certain high-grade and error-minted versions can be extremely valuable. Take a look through your change, you never know, you might just find a hidden treasure. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more valuable coin insights. Happy hunting, and we'll see you in the next video.